Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to make this uh, peacock style pattern. Now, um, some of this uh, you may have um, remembered from earlier designs. Basically, what I'm doing here is I start with my blob brush and I put the blob brush in a situation where it's it's painting something. So I'm going to show you how I'm I'm going to have it paint some blue here and there you go so it's painting and then through a series of transformations using my w different warp tools right these ones here or I already have mine out uh, you can bloat areas right you can uh, pucker them and then I also did some swirls on them as well so what you do is you create your design using this method and once you're done with that you have this um, particular style now what I did was I just worked through adding uh, different um, fills and stuff on my appearance panel and I actually have them saved so I want you to see uh, what the first one looks like and that's the one that I used out here and it's got several fills and uh, some of those fills have uh, different blend modes on them and then I also have some other styles as well notice this one here has a drop shadow on it and that's gonna come in handy when I'm doing my uh, transformation repetition here so what you do is you start with um, some one of these other ones that I've saved and then I'm just gonna change the uh, pattern here for this one so right now this has got this particular pattern I'm gonna change this pattern to something else let's see maybe the uh, no, maybe the squares. Let's do the squares. Okay. And uh, I also want to change some of the coloring. I don't want the um, orange coming through. I'm going to change it back to one of the um, maybe one of the greens. Yeah. And um, let's see. Okay. Maybe change the um, outline to a gray. Yeah, I think I like that. So, at this point, um, what you have to do is you have to group this object. Now, right now, this object is a is a single path, and it's um, straight in layer one. But if I right click, if I click on it, right click, and say group, what that does is that puts it inside another thing. Now, now I can have another appearance on top of it. So I've saved this appearance in my parents panel as well. It's called Graphic Style One here, and what it's going to do is it's going to do a transformation. Let's take a look at it. So it's got uh, another gradient on top of it, and it creates copies of my design. Now, I can change that transformation by clicking on the transformation option. Right now, it's creating five copies, and it's starting in this bottom corner. I want it to start in that bottom corner, but you know what? I'm going to make it go the other way. And you can click Preview, and you'll see it's going the other way. And um, depending on how much you want it to rotate, but... Uh, basically, this is how you can do it. Now, you can change the scaling to where, as it goes out, it gets um, smaller. So, I'm going to make it smaller. And you can also um, uh, change its um, position as well. And you'll see it starts to move up. All right, I'm going to click OK. So, at this point, I think I, I like the way this, this design looks. Okay. Now, for me to rotate this, I want you to see if I rotate it, watch how rotating it, you know, changes the way it looks here. It's still gonna work as a group. You see that? Okay. You see how it's still kind of pushing out to the left? I'm gonna rotate it some more. You see it's still pushing out to the left? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is undo a few of those. And if I was going to um make this work again, I would have to uh do some type of grouping again or something to, to put it inside another another place. So I'm going to put a group again and now when I um, click on it, see if I can get it to move over. But um, you could always just put it into a, an, another layer um, as well or have it in its own document so you can so you can s swap it around. But what I want you to do is basically work like this where you um, create a pattern and then you save it. Like you create this style and you save the style. And once you get um, several uh, ones in there, you can then quickly create um, some extra styles. Now remember, once you have a style on, like here, you just click that new graphic style and then you have another graphic style in there that you can play with. And so this is how you create the peacock pattern. 